work smarter, not harder, you have to start creating content that can be posted on multiple marketing channels without a ton of extra work. Enter repurposing. Repurposing content is going to save you so much time and get you more exposure by allowing you to reach more people on different platforms. One hack that we love is turning our Instagram reels into Pinterest idea pins. So keep watching to see how we do it and how you can do it too. This video is brought to you by Hotstock, the visual content membership for women entrepreneurs. We help women-owned businesses and brands save time, stress less, and show up online with confidence using our carefully curated stock photos, our customizable templates, designer branding elements, and monthly marketing guides. In this video, you'll learn two different ways that you can repurpose your Instagram Reels and how to upload to Pinterest to reach a wider audience. So the first thing you'll want to do to repurpose your content is to make a copy of your original reel. So idea pins and reels are the same size, so there's no need to worry about resizing. Also, always remember to name your files correctly so you can quickly and easily find them. Trust me, you're going to thank yourself later for this. Next, there isn't a ton of editing that you need to do. That's why we love repurposing this way, but Pinterest opens up an entirely new potential audience that can view your content. So we want to make sure that our branding is always obvious. So I'm going to add our URL. And again, because it's super important to include your call to actions when trying to attract a potential set of clients, you need to tell them where you want them to go or do next. Because of this, your Pinterest pins need to have an end slide. From here, I'm adding my CTA to like this idea pin and also follow my profile for more useful design tips. You can't add links yet in Pinterest idea pins, so telling them exactly where to go, like your profile or the description, which I'll show you when we post our pin, is the best. Then finally, you can download as an MP4 and keep this in video format. If your video is short enough for reels, then it's going to be the right length for Pinterest as well. And next, sometimes we also repurpose our video reels into tap through images on Pinterest, more like an Instagram story. So again, this is super easy. I don't need to add much to the changes I've already made, but I will add a call to action on my first slide, which will tell them to tap to see more of the post. Keep in mind your platform lingo on Instagram, you can slide, but Pinterest idea pins call for you to tap. So you want to make sure you're using the right words. And now you're all set and you can download as PNGs. Now let's pop into Pinterest and select create and the create idea pin option. Here you can upload or drag and drop your video, which we'll go through how to post first. Once your file is uploaded, you can click here to preview how your post will look. And as long as everything looks good, then you can select next. And this is the most important part with Pinterest posting because we want to ensure we're getting noticed by Pinterest and reaching the right audience. So type in your title, which should be simple, concise, and what people might actually type into search for related content to your post. Idea pins have a long shelf life because they get posted to one of your boards as well. So select your relevant board and then add your tags. Think of these tags as hashtags, keywords that are going to relate to your post, brand, and your ideal audience. Sometimes you'll find that your tag doesn't exist, so it takes some time playing around and looking through the tags that do exist to find ones that might work for you. And then lastly, add your details. This is like your description. You want to write what your post is about using keywords. Also, if you're doing a tutorial post, then you can write out the steps here one by one. And we also always want to add their next steps, especially if your call to action in your video asks them to check out the description or link in description. This is a great place to add your website URL or send them to your profile. And then you can post and preview how it will look. Next up is your repurpose images of your reel. Again, go to the same drop down menu and upload your PNGs. With your images, you'll want to double check that they uploaded in the proper order. If not, just drag the image to the right spot. From here, fill in all the information, your title, tags, and description. Then you can post and preview how they'll be able to tap through this type of post. 
and you're done. It's so easy to repurpose your content from Instagram to Pinterest using either the video or image options and it opens up a whole new audience of potential clients. So this is definitely a tip you should incorporate into your content strategy. If you want to make creating reels even easier and quicker for you, then you'd love our hot stock reels sync templates. The templates are fully customizable, pre-sync to audio, and come with a PDF featuring audio links, content ideas, and the timing breakdown of each reel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more marketing, branding, and graphic design tips, make sure you click the subscribe button.